and welcome back to my channel. Clearly I'm feeling very crafty, as in the movie The Craft, not like Martha Stewart or anything. <laughs> so today I wanted to do something totally different, get us in the mood for spooky season. I don't know where you guys live and if Halloween is canceled or what, but I wanted to do a look that you could wear with basically any Halloween costume, any dark spooky, kind of scary Halloween costume, not any costume. Could you imagine you're like dressed as toddlers and tiara and you have this makeup on? But before we get into this look, I quickly wanted to give you guys my Audible pick of the month. I have been partnered with Audible forever and ever and ever. I really feel like the Sandlot when I say forever, like forever. I just love it so much. I find it very soothing. Audible has an unmatched selection. Whatever you want, they have it. They also have Audible Originals now. So if you guys want to try Audible for yourself, you can go to audible.com slash Nicole or you can text Nicole to 500-500. There's always a link in the bottom bar if you guys just want to click on that. Audible also has sleep sounds now, which I really love. So I keep Audible in my little sleep folder. The book that I'm currently listening to is going to be one that's a little different than what you guys are used to me recommending to you, but it's called Think and Grow Rich, and it's basically like The Secret. It was written in 1937, so it is a little old school, like some of the things you're going to listen to, you're going to be like, what? My grandma actually recommended me to listen to this a long time ago, and it was one one of my recommended picks for Audible. So that's what I'm currently listening to and I love it. Like I said, it does remind me of The Secret and I've listened to The Secret so many times. It's like burned into my brain. I feel like I could just recite it to you. So it's nice to kind of listen to something similar but not the exact book. So if you guys want to listen for yourself, again, you can go to audible.com slash Nicole, download a free audiobook. If you don't like the audiobook that you downloaded, you can return it and pick something else, which I do all the time. And if you've never tried Audible and you have trouble sleeping, listen to their sleep stories. They're so good, y'all. So yeah, Audible is literally one of the most soothing things on the entire planet, and all of us need to relax a little bit. Am I right? <laughs> All right, so enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into this spooky, dark look. I don't even know if it's spooky. Is it spooky? Like, I, I look a little spooky. <laughs> Hello? My poor face is so broken out because of my mask. There's like one, two, three, four, five. Me. <laughs> so I usually wash my hands before we start a makeup tutorial, but I didn't, I forgot. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of hand sanitizer and then moisturize the face. I'm still using the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity. I really like it. You guys have seen it in the past couple of videos of mine. So I usually do like two pumps of it and then work that into the face. So usually for me, I always do my base first. That's just how I like to work. I know some people like to do their eyes first, some people like to do their base first. Usually I'm a base kind of girl, but since we are gonna be using some black shadow today, and I assume that there's gonna be fallout, I don't wanna risk it and have it fall into my concealer or even onto my foundation. So we're gonna do our eyes first, which is something that I don't like to do. I don't know why, I, I, I really don't know why, but that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna lay down a base first and I'm just gonna use an eye pencil. This one is from Pat McGrath. This one's not gonna move around a lot. It's just basically gonna act as a base for us. And I'm just gonna run it from my lash line to right above my crease. I mean, you could take this into your crease if you wanted to. <laughs> Where are my eyes? <laughs> I'm also gonna take a little bit of this Danessa Mavericks Color Fix. This is a matte liquid pigment and it is in the shade Blackout. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this in the mix as well. Up into the crease a little bit. And then you can kind of start blending that. I mainly just use that to blend with our eyeliner. All right, and then once you have a base down, I'm gonna take this Life's a Drag palette from Lunar Beauty. And I'm just gonna go in with the black shade, I believe it's called Shady. And we're just gonna pack this all over our lid and then we'll take a fluffy brush and pull it up into our crease. I'm just gonna pack this all onto our lid. And then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, with like a smaller fluffy brush. And then I'm going to extend mine outwards. So I'm gonna take a smaller fluffy and I'm gonna go right into our crease with that just for like more concentrated color. And I just wanna party with you. On this episode of what TikTok song is stuck in my head.
I'm gonna take like a fleshy toned eyeshadow and I'm gonna use that to highlight the brow bone. I'm just gonna use this guy from the Sephora palette. So I know we're looking crazy. So we got black shadow all over the place. I got it in my nose. I just gotta trust the process, you know? So then I would usually use some kind of makeup remover or something to get the excess off my face, but I actually don't use makeup remover wipes anymore, so I don't have any. So we're gonna have to clean this up with some eye makeup remover and some Q-tips. Old school. <laughs> Clean up under here. I'm gonna put a little bit of this Clinique Moisture Eye Serum underneath my eyes since I basically took off all of our primer under there. Oh my god, there's just black eyeshadow everywhere. <laughs> Oh, we look mean. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty Foundation. I haven't gotten any lighter colors yet, so I'm still gonna use the 270. I just really like how it looks on the skin. But again, it is a bit dark for me. And the brush that I'm using is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush. Cause we look so crazy. <laughs> If you didn't see my other video when I was talking about this foundation, it's really lightweight on the skin. It's a water-based foundation. It blends really nicely. It feels light on the skin. And it is buildable, so if you need a little bit more coverage in certain areas, you can just add to it, which I like. But again, if you missed that video I was talking about it, I have to pick it up in some lighter shades. <laughs> and I just want to party with you. Um, but I'm gonna go in with some concealer and I'm gonna do two different concealers I'm gonna do a little bit of the Pat McGrath concealer and I'm gonna do a little bit of the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Let me find a concealer brush. So the first one I'm gonna go in with is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish And we're gonna add this underneath the eyes. We're gonna go here and here And this is a Sigma soft blend concealer brush that I'm using to blend out our concealer I'm gonna go in with my finger. I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush just to kind of soften in there. And then I pull this right back into my hairline. This will make this part of your eye like look more lifted. And I just want a body with you. And then take our brush that I just sat down that disappeared. Hello. And then with the Makeup Forever, this is just optional, but I like it to look bright under here, so I'm just going to add a little here, like on my little, this area. I'm just going to blend here. Like that. It almost acts as like my highlighter because I pull it like up onto my cheekbone area and then I'll take our foundation brush one more time and just go over this lower area to make sure it's really blended like that and then I'm not gonna set that because I have a little bit of that makeup forever matte velvet skin pulled up into it so that should keep us set in this area. And then if you get any creasing under here, it'll be easy to just tap it out like this. All right, for contour, I'm just gonna be using what I normally use now. This is the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade Teddy. I'm having an urge to do Halloween cheeks, but I'll resist it. Do my temples, the forehead. I do like my jawline here, just to create a little shadow under there. Chin. Then I really liked this Rare Beauty blush. So I've been using this a lot and I also really like the color. I think I gave you guys the wrong color that I used last time. I think I said it was matte terracotta, but it wasn't. It was in the shade Love, which is like this really pretty orangey, I don't even know what color this is, but it's really pretty. It looks like it would be like a terracotta color, right? This is from 
Royal, I think. And it's a contour brush, but I always use it for blush. And then I'm just going to use this on the back of my hand and then pop this blush on. I'm trying to go for like a more face. So I'm going to keep the blush back here, even though I like to put it on my apples. If you put it back here and not so much on the apples of your cheek, it'll give your face like this look. And if I were to put it on my apples, it would give my face a rounder look. So I want this to be like snatched back with our eyes. So I'm just gonna focus the blush out here, which is hard for me to do. <laughs> And I just want a body with you. These hands really look like Halloween hands. Oh God. These are the Ardell Studio FX and they are in 231. It's like a stacked lash. It's a Demi Wispy and a 113. I honestly don't even know if you can tell with the black eyeshadow, but there's lashes there. Yeah, you can tell, right? Sure. Yeah, we can totally see the lash. And I just want a pony with you. I don't even know what time it is. I'm hungry. It's almost 8 p.m. Oh my god. I like you. <laughs> Get this baby on. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We're moving right along. We're moving right along. I'm gonna go back into our Life's a Drag palette and go back in with the only shade we're using, which is Shady. And then I'm just gonna connect that a little bit. I don't really like eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line, so I'm only gonna do the littlest, teeniest, tiny bit and connect it. I'm gonna soften that line so it's not super harsh. And that's it. Okay. I don't even remember the last time I put mascara on my lower lashes. It's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna let it dry. <laughs> I got it underneath my eye too. Oh my god, girl, how long has it been? Relax. You can totally do a nudie lip if you want. That would be super cute with this look as well. But no, that's not what we're going to do today. We're not. No, we do a nude lip every single time we do our makeup. And I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Artist Pencil. These are multi-use, so you can use these on your waterline, on your lids, on your lips. You can draw on your face with these, whatever you want. It's just a multi-use pencil. I still have a bit of balm on, which is nice, because I'm just going to fill in my entire lip with this pencil. So this is the final look. I really like how it came out. I feel like I'm just ready to summon the four corners. I'm ready to just have someone levitate. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. The movie is The Craft. You better know that. And that really makes me want to watch that movie tonight. I wonder if Biebs will watch it with me. <laughs> it's like 8.30 at night now. And I... Where am I gonna go? I'm not gonna go anywhere, so I gotta go wash it off. That is it for me, guys. I don't have anything else to tell you except I love you, and I will see you super soon in a new video. Bye, guys. I need to wash these hands, I know that much. <laughs>